Hi everyone! So I figured I'd take you guys along with me while I, um, or after I harvested my corn because this is really, um, corn is something that is so good that you so, you certainly should eat corn raw. It's so sweet, crunchy, and creamy and do not cook it like everybody else says to do it and how you've been brought up to eat corn. Eat it raw. It is so much better completely different experience and it's seriously so much better in its raw state. Um, but over the summer I grew my own corn and over the years I'm up here in Alaska so growing fruit and produce is a lot different than of course in the lower, lower 48 um, in warmer states you know um, but Alaska does have potential of course if you if you provide the right conditions um, but throughout our summertime there's so much there's 24 hours and seven days a week of 24 7 of sunlight so the plants really benefit a lot and I did several videos of, of tours for you guys around in my garden and I know there's there's some other Alaskans who have much bigger gardens than I do but this is just for myself and um, I think I did pretty good this this year too my mom she's grown some amazing abundance to much bigger um, than what I do too but I just wanted to share with you guys my actual corn because I got let's see five corn cobs I was able to grow and um, our summers are very short up here too, so um, it's only a couple months long, okay? So the plants have a very short growing season and it was actually a really nice summer too, so it was nice to us, it was warm. So um, I, everybody benefited very well who were growing plants this year. But I thought I'd share with you guys my corn. Uh, and yes, there are, like I said, a lot of other Alaskans that can do a lot better but um, these, this is from just from growing outside um, and this is like pure raw organic corn uh, no pesticides no pesticides used all I did was use um, the use my regular water and um, I didn't use no pesticides of course so my whole garden I grew tons of leafy greens Swiss chard dinosaur kale mixed greens and I've been juicing throughout the summer cucumbers bell peppers and I've been eating them throughout the summer um, and then a bunch of bunch of herbs and then I got some hot peppers that are turning red that I'll, I'll show you guys too but um, it's kind of interesting for corn um, each one of these little hairs on corn is um, hooks to a kernel. It has to be pollinated. Um, it has to be pollinated and it's amazing because my mom was telling me this a while ago and so whenever I grow corn I think of that and I go, man that is amazing and how, you know, how God has created our, our food, our plant food and how it grows and with corn you see all the different types of of uh, the hairs here on there and each one of them has to be pollinated because that is what creates the kernel and obviously this is a smaller cob so I only got a couple of kernels that were pollinated there but it needs more growing time which I don't have because we are basically approaching winter mode very quickly now um, and so here's one of my other corn cobs so you can kind of see about the size of it here and it got pollinated mm, pretty pretty darn good or pretty good um, we got some big kernels on there it looks like wow look at that that is so cool but um, then we'll we'll try a tasty taste test here too but here's a little bit larger cob here and but as you can see not much was pollinated so I mean just because it's a large cob doesn't mean mm, doesn't mean you're gonna have a bunch of kernels on it I mean each one of those hairs like I mentioned has to be pollinated in order to create a kernel so there's that so, so far, that's what we got there, guys. <laughs> Here's another one, and this one looks mighty good. Oh, wow, holy, 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 those kernels are, wow, pretty darn big. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. Alaskan-grown corn, pure organic, no GMO, no 
no GMO at all. And then this one was absolutely amazing. Look at that. That actually looks like a, oh, that's cool. Now that, that's cool. We're going to do a tasty taste test on this one, guys. Whoa. That is cool. And I, oh my gosh, raw corn is so delicious. Oh my gosh, that is so cool because in the past I have never had a corn pollinated this well before. And I know up at the university here in Fairbanks, UAF, um, they do, they have a controlled environment where they're, they are growing an actual fig tree, actual habanero trees, and actual corn stalks, but it's for school, it's for classes and stuff, experimentation, but that is super expensive. They have that like very well, um, like the, the environment for the produce to grow, the trees to grow. I, I've seen it too, it's really cool. It's very expensive because I remember it was around Christmas time and they were growing corn and I saw the habanero tree also, but it was in a controlled greenhouse environment and it was 40 below outside. The sun was already starting to set at like two or three in the afternoon. Super cold and dark. That's the really bad part of our winter too approaching but they were growing actual corn cobs and, and it was cool to see that but oh my gosh it's expensive it's expensive but let's take a tasty test here <gasps> is that <one> good? <gasps> mm. wow Very juicy. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. No, I put you guys right there. Mmm. 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 It does need more growing time, though. Most definitely. Oh wow, but it's so juicy. And sweet. That is so cool. Like literally, I just picked this about like 10 minutes ago. Mmm. And I would take you guys, I wanted to take you guys out there with me, but there's just so much construction going on with my neighbor, too much noise going on. I just can't, I don't want to deal with that. And so I picked it all first and, mmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, creamy, mmm. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing is when it's harvest season or when your plants that you've been nourishing and growing for so long and you finally get to taste what it's produced. It's like, wow. So much better than store-bought, of course. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mmm. 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 Creamy. Mm. Awesome. 
awesome. Oh, that is good. Alaskan grown corn, organic, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I can't, I'm like, I'm really wanting to finish this, so I will let you guys go. Remember to let Bing raw, you guys. Mm. Mm, put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you guys, and I will see you guys next video. Bye, guys.